record. Okay, recording. All right, so I was asked the question on dealing with menopause and jokingly we said like how would I deal with menopause or or maybe I've been told in in my group that the male menopause is called andropause so that's really you know so I'm glad to be educated in knowing that the male menopause or menopause is andropause but I mean this is how I deal with it you know the um, everything for me is a belief system so if I was uh, suffering from hom hormones male hormones uh, and belief systems um, then for me it's this you know all everything that I suffer from um, having uh, had a lot of experience you know doing a lot of work on um, listening to Hawkins and applying the things that he said to me I got and you know I got to meet uh, Dr. Hawkins in, a, in America and told him like how you know how do I get through uh, all my physical illnesses kidney failure gout and he, he shared with me um, he also said, don't worry about it. If you die, you know, it's not a problem, but uh, die of them. But uh, the thing is, of course, that I did get from his and reading his books and listening to his works, that everything is just um, like an illness. Or if I was suffering from um, uh, a kind of a female or male version of menopause, I'd go, OK, well, that's a belief system. And some of these belief systems are time dated belief systems. So at the age of 45, you'll get the male menopause or andropause or whatever it is. You'll have these hormones running through your thing. So remember that it's a program, sophisticated program. So the program is that I've picked up from the collective consciousness that at a certain age, um, uh, you'll start to experience these kind of hormones will be released into your body at this rate and at, at this year. Uh, if you could put yourself on mute, I think someone's not on mute. Um, and um, thank you. Um, so if you um, so you can see the sophistication of what is called the belief system. So this age, express this many hormones, start to feel this way, start for your body to change, start for all these things to start things. So it's a multi program. So I'd start canceling the beliefs. What about the symptoms? Like if I'm feeling uh, feelings, or cravings or all kinds of energies come into me as a result of the programs, the hormonal programs or the time dated belief systems, then I'd want to feel those out. And I'll just give you an example, uh, like with kidney failure, the feeling as associated with the program of kidney failure is exhaustion. So, uh, and also there's a multitude of belief systems like blood toxicity, uh, high creatinine levels in the blood supply, high blood pressure, um, uh, all kinds of things, uh, belief systems. So you just keep cancelling all of those and feeling out the exhaustion or trying to go to the observer of the exhaustion. As, you know, God did not create kidney failure. It's not real. So God did not create andropause. God did not create menopause. God did not create hormonal imbalances. God did not create hormones. So in that way, what, you, what I'm doing is I'm disappearing the belief systems and I'm disappearing the energies that are arising out of the belief system, just ca canceling them and clearing them until they all dissolve away. How long did that take with kidney failure to keep canceling away and feeling out the exhaustion? It took me five years. So that was a heavy chronic system that had manifested at the physical level with kidney failure, eventually dialysis machine. So that's heavy clearing, gout, um, gout, uh, and asthma took about three years to clear through counseling and filling out the feelings and spiritual work. So heavy ones do take a little while, but I had absolute conviction if you keep doing it, it was my only hope and it worked. So the miracles do come in as you release those feelings and cancel those beliefs, whether it be kidney failure, menopause, andropause, whatever it is, just continuous spiritual work and it should clear as long as you don't leave the body before you can clear it. So um, I'll stop.